Hello everybody. Today what I'm going to do now is go ahead and solve a question that includes both major and minor losses. Um, so here is what the question says. I have a nozzle right over here and there's a loss associated with it. The few reference manual calls it C. In case you do study my lecture videos, I call it KL along with other uh, major books in this uh, domain. Um, and that's given as one. Typically, that's what it is. Exit losses are one regardless of what uh, type of exit you have. Okay. And I gave you that this is a PVC pipe. And I gave you the Reynolds number of it to be 100. Okay. And here's what the question is asking me. Find the ratio of major losses to minor losses. So basically, I'm asking you this uh, major losses to minor losses. This ratio is being asked to you. Okay. And this H, H minor, HL minor, is written as H sub F comma friction in the reference manual. And this is simply written as H sub F. Okay, so I'm asking you the ratio between those two. Okay, before I go ahead, I, I could have made this question much more complicated and much more longer. Okay, um, I decided to make it much more to the point. All right, um, and I will explain how I can make it much more... Uh, long i didn't say hard i said long uh, but i have additional videos that you can watch from the sections that i can make it longer okay okay so i look at my uh, reference manual and let's take a look at here it says f l over d d squared over 2g will be my major loss the minor loss on the other hand will be it's written as c v squared over 2g so that is being asked to me so this ratio and you're right there and then, you can see that this V squared over 2G's kind of cancel each other out. C is 1, so that's taken care of. So it seems like F L over D is the where it's at, right? And this is what I mean. So this F value, I could have made it much more complicated where you need to calculate the Reynolds number yourself. You need to obtain epsilon over D. In this case, I gave you a smooth, but it doesn't really matter because in a laminar case, I'm, it is not a function of the epsilon right it's only a function of Reynolds number but I could have done it just wanna let you know L over D and then the next thing is um, I mentioned this couple times as well but what I'm gonna write over here will not be in the reference manual or you need to really look at the reference manuals page 200 where they give you the Moody's chart but you will not be able to search this okay this is uh, within the chart itself um, and what they say is up to 2000 they they have a line like this and they say that hey this is 64 over Reynolds so I would like you to note that okay that's how I get the 64 over Reynolds I gave this Reynolds number is 100 right so let's write, rewrite this whole thing so it's going to be 64 over 100 that will be my f value times the length of this pipe is 10 meters and the diameter is if I'm not mistaken 1 meter so let's double check this what is the unit of 64 over 100 that is unitless right that is f um, yep, it says 1 meter diameter and 10 meter length, so we're good. So when I do that, you can see this cancel size, 64 divided by 10 is 6.4. So if I look up here, you see that C was the answer to this particular question. And again, thank you for watching this video.